नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग गाइस नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग वी शैल बी डिस्कसिंग विल बी रिगार्डिंग द क्यूबिटल फोसा इट विल बी रिगार्डिंग द क्यूबिटल फोसा ओके नाउ व्हाट इज क्यूबिटल फोसा सो दिस रीजन व्हाट एवर यू कैन सी हियर दिस इज कॉल्ड एज अ क्यूबिटल फोसा नाउ इन दिस क्यूबिटल फोसा फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट इज डिस्कस व्हाट आर द मजल्स ऑफ द क्यूबिटल फोसा आई मीन व्हाट आर द मजल्स दैट आर फॉर्मिंग द क्यूबिटल फोसा ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट अस ड्रॉ टू इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स हियर वन इज योर ह्यूमरस सो दिस इज द ह्यूमरस नाउ इन दिस ह्यूमरस ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट दिस इज कॉल्ड एज अ मीडियल एपिकोंडल दिस इज कॉल्ड एज अ लैटरल एपिकोंडल ओके मीडियल एंड लैटरल एपिकोंडल नाउ देयर इज अ मजल दैट इज गोइंग ऑल द वे हियर दिस muscle which is emerging from the lateral epicondyle this is called as this big chunk of muscle is called as your brachial radialis so here you have got a muscle like this this is called as a muscle like this this muscle is called as brachial radialis next important thing is that from the flexor region also you have got a muscle going like this so this muscle which is going in this way is called as a pronator teres so here i have brachial radialis here i have got pronator teres okay so here i have brachial radialis and here i have got pronator teres like this so this is pronator teres okay so one muscle here whatever i have got this is called as brachial radialis brachial radialis is on the lateral side and here i have got pronator teres pronator teres okay now here you can see a so we have got a base so if someone asks you what is the base of cubital fossa formed by the base of the cubital fossa is formed by an imaginary line that is touching all the way the lateral epicondyle okay touching all the way the lateral epicondyle all the way till the medial epicondyle this forms the base next after that what is the lateral border formed by the lateral border is formed by brachial radialis the lateral border is formed by brachial radialis whereas the medial border who is forming the medial border the medial border is formed by pronator teres pronator teres okay so when it comes to the base the lateral border as well as the medial border lateral border is formed by the imaginary line drawn between the lateral epicondyle and the medial epicondyle so laterally we have got brachial radialis and medially we have got the pronator teres now what are the contents of cubital fossa so simply remember guys the contents of cubital fossa from the lateral side to the medial side as r tan now what does r tan starts for r stands for radial nerve r stands for radial nerve so here we have got a nerve here so this nerve is called as a radial nerve and r stands for radial nerve and what does t stands for t stands for tendon of biceps brachii so t stands for tendon of biceps brachii okay so here in the center we have got a tendon and this is the tendon of biceps brachii next a stands for artery what is the artery here artery is the brachial artery artery is the brachial artery so all of you know that the brachial artery in the center it will divide into two branches one is called as a radial artery another one is called as a ulnar artery okay next important thing uh, n what does n stands for n stands for a nerve and that nerve is called as a median nerve that nerve is called as median nerve so what is that nerve here so here we have got a nerve and that nerve is called as a median nerve okay so these are the contents from the lateral side to the medial side so this is all about the discussion of cubital fossa but one important thing i want to tell you is that this median nerve as it passes like this it passes in between this pronator teres okay let me change the color if you look at the median nerve here if you look at the median nerve the median nerve actually passes like this it passes in between the pronator teres okay 
so in between the heads of this pronator teres like this so what will happen is that whenever there is compression of pronator teres that would lead to compression of the median nerve because this is the pronator teres and median nerve is passing like this so whenever the pronator teres contracts there will be compression of the median nerve this is called as pronator teres syndrome okay so in case of pronator teres syndrome In case of pronator teres syndrome, we have got median nerve compression. We have got which nerve compression? We have got median nerve compression. 